all right hello guys welcome back my name is Ombeni and this is Tanzavis and it's been a little while I've been quite busy with you know school stuff but thanks to God we are now free at all but now I've been doing a bit of search about JavaScript framework and I come across with this Quasar framework it is JavaScript framework built on top of Vue.js and it's really amazing one. It's really amazing JavaScript framework. In fact, it's one of my favorite JavaScript framework now for front-end development. So what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna move there so this documentation and then see or just show you, you know, the features and we're gonna just explore through this documentation. And maybe in the next day we'll try to create a just simple demo application using this uh quasar framework quasar framework all right so what is it what is quasar you can just see here they say as an enterprise ready the enterprise ready cross platform vue.js framework so to make it simple to make it very simple and really understandable for everyone is like you know frameworks i mean quasar framework is a Vue.js framework that was, I mean, was created with the aim of developing everything from, you know, from one single code base. So there's a point where they say that, I mean, you just code only once and then you want to deploy it to any kind of platform, you know, that's the greatest, you know, greatest feature I've ever seen in this framework. So let's just move to, I want to show you yeah, why Quasar? Let's see this one. I mean, why do you choose this one? Maybe ask him more. Why? Why do you choose this? Choose this framework. All right. So I uh, just here. Uh, yeah. Why Quasar? There are a couple of reasons why you should choose this one. So this is how they pronounce it. I don't know what it does mean, but anyway, it's an MIT license open source Vue.js based framework. It allows web developer to quickly create responsive website and application in many flavors all right so you can in with this framework you can create even mobile application you'll create even desktop application you know just by coding once and then you just need to do some configuration and write a simple command to convert that one to a respective platform you want so i think that's really great that's really amazing yeah, so that's that's the big I mean big feature I've seen so far in this squeezer. Everything else remains as view, and there's this other things that are specific to Quasar itself, but that's it. So let's just go to this sidebar right here. We're gonna see, you know, there are some kind of links here, but the very important point of this navigation, I mean, one which is really useful to start with. I think it's this style identity layout grid and then view components and well i just go to this view component right so we're just gonna see the components that are built in because this one comes with built-in components it's shift with built-in a lot of building components and they based on you know material design so here we go like let's just see this page here can you see I don't like I always like to you know to see button let's see yeah you know, these are kind of material design buttons and I really like this kind of design I'm really inspired by this one so it's really easy and if you want just to take this money maybe you want to use this every button in your in whatever project you are doing you can just open this code area section here and then copy and paste for that Whatever you want, or you can, you can just take it as it is and then delete the one that you don't use it. So, yeah, it's really amazing. And another thing, one of my favorite components I mean, yes, I'm going to say component or whatever it's layout. God, this guy's killed it here. You know, this is where they killed it, they nailed it. Let's see, where is it? Uh, yeah, there we go. This here layouts, and you can even you know you can even build your own layout 
just by clicking next next and there you go and then they also have you know built-in galleries they inspire the i mean layout that inspire them you know you can take a layout like that of youtube and then like this one very simple and easy you just need to take this source code here and go to github i think it's going to open in github here you just copy this one and paste to whatever you want so it's really amazing you see and maybe you're gonna close that one let's just let's open another layout template see if you want to use this kind of template you just need to take this one all right so it's really amazing want to use maybe like facebook design how is it yeah no not facebook this is whatsapp yeah so you can take this code here and just put it in your project whatever project you're dealing with it's really amazing so they did a lot of work and i'm i'm really i'm, I'm really amazed with the work they did so it's really good keep up guys keep going so that's one of my favorite thing i've ever seen in this quasar framework you can just start up in a very easy way and then you know they did a lot of heavy lift behind this task okay but from that you can also create your own you can also create your own layout here see for example let's just create a simple layout you can see there's this default layout here you can see there's sub one two three and so forth like that so using these two buttons here you can just create uh, the layout you want how do you want your website maybe to look like for example let's say just just say i don't want footer here this footer below here you see i can just check that like that one switch off it and it disappears and then maybe i don't want left bar i mean left side side inside side draw i don't want that so you can just turn it off like this but if i want to keep it here so maybe i don't want navigation tabs in the header you can just turn it off like that what else we have i don't like also this this one so where is it right here see and then you just click continue or you can just export the layout and you copy the code and put it wherever you want it to be or you can just continue and customize it the way you like see for example i'm going to show you all uh, this one let's say we tick this one see you get another design oh, it's really amazing it's really really amazing my god you don't have any, any idea how this is really hard to design something like that but it's good since we have this quiz i'm really amazed with the work they did um yeah this is good you can even do this one maybe want to you are you know your, your your whole layout of scroll yeah you want to keep the header sticky like that yeah so it's really <laughs> it's really amazing for sure all right so that's perfect you can just continue here what else you want we also all disabled all this one so we can just export it and boom we take it off we go and then proceed with other things so this is one of my favorite features in this quasar <laughs> all right so anything else they also have a lot of you know a lot of things a lot of things you have layout let's see layout page see you have this q page and keep in mind that everything in this framework start with q and i think q stand for quasar yeah so you can see here we have this page maybe so it's, it's there are a lot of cool features here i i bet you can try to explore on yourself and see maybe if it's really amazing all right i mean if it's really going to switch your project anything else we also have this quasar utils yeah it's come with a lot of utils let's see this dome utils what's here you can all right i've ever seen i didn't see this before so we have DOM, you can import DOM and do any other things like, okay, all right. Now, yeah, so, okay, this, this is my first time to see it. All right, so this is cool. Anyway, let's just see uh, the extensions or the extensions we have here. Oh, we can install and install extensions. I think this is much based on mobile. 
something like that because you can even create your Android application with this framework. Let's see just the utilities style. Yes, you can specify, you know, spacing, positioning, a lot of uh, cool style design, you know, utilities to design the way you like. And it's much easy to customize this framework to put in the design uh, you prefer. All right, so you can even toggle between dark and dark and, you know, those changing of theme. Yeah, dark mode and white mode, light mode. There's a lot of shadows, visibility. Yeah, there are a lot of cool features here. So I bet you're going to try it and see this. Just move through this documentation. And thank you for the next time. We will just see how to create this uh, the uh, view, you know, Quasar uh, project from scratch. And then we're going to try to explore each and every kind of features here. And then, yes, we're going to see even how to connect it with backend because this is a single page application. So we're going to try to connect it with, yeah, with, with Laravel maybe or with Django in backend. And then we're going to see even how to put it into production. Yeah, there's a lot of things. So keep uh keep watching or keep updated and then good all right thank you goodbye and have a good time